Well, I just wanted to say good morning to everybody and thank everybody who uh, attended the clubhouse yesterday and, and the live stream. Um, it, was, uh, it was amazing. I've never done anything like that before, and I was just blown away by all the questions and the uh, interaction, and I can't wait to do it again. I, we found a, I found a setting that'll slow down the, uh, the chat window so that I can address more, because uh, I was watching it just... <laughs> scrolling by um so it was uh it was i wanted to get to more people and it was really kind of hard you start to tell a story and then about 50 more questions come roaring by um and today is insane i'm just getting ready to do a uh, an online panel about la bass players um for berkeley and as soon as that's done then i'm getting uh, together with russ kunkel and mindy a bear and mr bonsai and doing a panel for NAM, and then right after that's done, the immediate family is doing a panel for the Grammy Museum. So it's a it's a packed day. But one of the things that was m mentioned yesterday, a name that came up, and this is I'm going to throw these in on a, on a regular basis, was about bass players who I admire. And I had posted the uh, the video of Renaud, um, a uh, the uh, flamenco uh, upright bassist who's just staggering a while back. But one of my absolute favorite bassists um, is Reinat Abragamov, and he was mentioned yesterday. He was the principal bassist with the London Symphony Orchestra. And um, I find this him so staggering in his facility, in, in his um, just his tone, his intonation, his, his taste, his facility, the guy. And th the true heartbreak was uh, a couple of years ago, he suffered a stroke and he can no longer play. Um, I don't know, maybe he, he might be teaching now at this point, but um, it was one of the great heartbreaks to, to lose him as a performer. Um, but there's this great, wonderful video of him that I wanted to put up, um, performing with his daughter, Alina, um, who's a staggeringly talented violinist, and she's been a major contender since she was a child in, in the classical world. So um, I'm just going to go right now and play this and then um, talk a little bit afterwards. Um, but this is Reinat Abragamov, uh, and enjoy. <laughs> Collins and his son Nicholas. Every time Phil would look back on stage and look at Nick, it would be pretty deep. Here we go.
Unbelievable. I mean, just, just incredible musicians. Um, he is a tomato. <laughs> this is good for you. Perfect timing. Perfect timing on that. Hold on. Let me. Uh, There's one simple trick to controlling your weight. Audio I'm thoracic surgeon Stephen Gundry said, "Wow, he is a tomato. Nice, <laughs> Jesus. Oh God, I love the internet. I love this this crap." Um, so that's Reinet Abragamov and his daughter Alina. I, I didn't see there was no credit for the pianist, who was also really quite spectacular. But there's a ton of videos of, of him playing. And just like I said at the beginning, the tragedy is that he suffered a stroke a few years ago and can no longer play. And the loss of a musician of that caliber is just quite heartbreaking and, and staggering to me. Um, but when I discovered him, I just kind of sat back and went, wow. I mean, there's so many of these ones. Edgar Myers in, down in Nashville, you know, is it's the work Edgar's done with Yo-Yo Ma and Mark O'Connor is incredible. I'll post some of that. There's a, a couple of other upright players that just blow my mind. And there's Gary Carr. I mean, that, that community of players are always pretty mind-blowing to me. But um, Reina just seems to have everything. His intonation is, is so spectacular, and his fluidity on the instrument um, is something to, something to behold. As a bassist, you know, starting on string bass, watching him, uh, you just kind of go, it'd be like a you know, young player starting out and then watching some Jocko and Victor Wooten and stuff and go, why? Why am I even bothering? Um, so look, I, I've got to get ready now for my Berkeley um, uh, panel. And it's going to be fun because it's going to have Chuck Rainey and Bob Glaub and, and Nathan East and Chris Cheney. Um, who else do they have coming on there? Um, I have to, I'd have to go back and look at the uh, Neil Steuben house is going to be on it. So it's going to be fun just to kind of sharing uh, what's going on in the world and adventures with all the cats because um, we hardly ever get to see each other anymore. So. We'll see uh, see how that goes, and then after that, I'll be Nam showing virtual Nam showing, and then Grammy Museum. So I got got a full day going here. Already walked the dogs and fed them, so my real responsibilities are over. So, and again, thank you so much to everybody who came to the playhouse yesterday, a clubhouse yesterday, and uh, I had a fabulous time, and can't wait for the next one. Uh, we're gonna try to readjust the time so the people in, in Europe will not be up at 2.30 in the morning doing it. It might pull it back to instead of 4, maybe around 1 or noon or 1, something like that. I'm going to sort that out and I'll put that out there. And boy, I've been hearing from a lot of doctors and nurses and stuff who are just saying, please, <laughs> this is not a joke. They're being overwhelmed with sickness and death, and it's getting worse every day because we've been so uh, incompetent in addressing these issues. And now all this nonsense about wanting to get the kids all back in school. Uh, it's, it's, you know, I'm, okay, I'm, th I'm through with th that because it's I'd want to just bask in Reinet and his daughter, but. It's rough times and people are really suffering on every level. So try to give a shout out. 
if you see any doctors, nurses, firemen, any of these people that are out there, just give them a thumbs up. And uh, let's hope for the best for our future. Nothing better than having this resolved so we can all get back out and, and get back to some semblance of whatever the new normal is going to be. So, okie dokie, I'm going to get going and get, get my work in order here. But I just wanted to share Ryan out with you because I find him a profoundly moving musician. And, uh, and I thought he was worth uh, turning you on to if you didn't know about him. So, see you tomorrow.